In Australia, no matter where you go or who you get to know, everyone is immediately your mate. Hello, hello and hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Alright, today I'm going to do a reaction video by the channel of Chaotic Traveler. Please do subscribe to this channel to show us support to here, okay? And today we're going to see nobody talks about this strength of Australia. What is that? All right, I can't wait to see it. All right. <laughs> and before we start as usual, I would like to thank everyone who already support me by subscribing my channel. And for those who still not yet subscribed, please do show some support to me by subscribing my sh channel, of course. Uh, thanks a lot, good people. Thanks. Okay, without further ado, everyone, let's go and watch this video with me. Let's go. Yay! Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Every country has its pros and cons. Some countries mm -hmm. have more pros, some have more cons, but no country yeah. is perfect. After I had traveled Australia for one year, I would like to share my thoughts on what I think Australia does better than my country of origin, Germany. Number one, okay. how people talk to each other. In Australia, it is most common to address someone with their first names. Family names do not matter that much. I have seen letters from authorities like the council beginning with Dear Molly instead of Dear Mrs. Smith. When I opened my Dear bank Molly. Account, I had the appointment with a girl just a bit younger than myself. When I went out the office, there was an old man waiting outside for her to call him in. She said to him, Hello Arthur, how are you doing? That felt so strange to me. I couldn't imagine what kind of relationship these two would be having that this young girl would dare to address mm -hmm. this old man with his first name. In Germany, I couldn't really think of a lot of situations where a young lady would address an old man with his first name. Even when you're in hospital and you have heaps of time to make friends with the nurses, they are most likely to still address you with your family name. Hello Mr. Smith, how are we doing today? That creates such a cold distance between individuals. Cold it distance, yeah. It's very common in Germany that when you work for a company for two years that you don't even know your boss's first name. In Australia, no matter where you go or who you get to know, everyone is immediately your mate. Of course, there are black sheep, Everybody but is you get your the mate. Idea. The downside to that, for me personally, is that you can never know who is your actual friend. In Germany, it takes a long time to really make friends with someone, but once you're friends with him, you know that he will try to move mountains for you. Number two. Ooh. That might sound a little surprising, but school uniforms. If I were to wear school uniforms back in the day when I was still a kid in school, my life would have been a lot easier. When I went to school, I got bullied on a regular basis for years and years. And no, I'm not asking for anyone's pity, I'm doing just fine. Okay. Back in the day, my parents were only able to he just get fine. second-hand clothes. When the new PlayStation 3 came out, guess who got a used PlayStation 1 for Christmas? But I was happy with what I had. I liked my clothes. I enjoyed playing PlayStation 1. Yeah. But only my classmates seemed to have had a problem with me being poor. And of course, they were picking on me for the clothes that I was wearing. I remember the time where you were only cool when you wore soccer shoes as your everyday shoes, without the spikes obviously. And the coolest shoes that you can buy were these Nike 90s. Obviously my mom wouldn't have enough money to buy me those. But we went to Deichmann anyways, which is a big German Deichmann. shoe chain franchise. Every town has one. And Deichmann has their own home brand called Victory. They were copying designs of famous shoes, make a few adjustments and sell them cheap. And so it was that I didn't get Nike 90s, but Victory 70s. I personally were so proud. I love those shoes. Victory but you can 70. imagine my schoolmate's opinion on them when I brought them to school. So yeah, that's a very personal reason of why I would prefer school uniforms over plain clothes. Yeah. Number three. I don't know if there is an official term for these things, but I call them twist. In my country also, we all we are wearing the school uniform. It's more easier, isn't you? Lids. Some glass bottles, I think, mainly beer bottles, they have a lid that you can just twist off. So you don't need a lid opener, but your bare hands. You can even easily just twist the lid back on the bottle and put it back in the fridge. Not that I knew why anyone should do that, apart from maybe when you get spontaneous diarrhea and you want to get your beer back in the fridge before you go nuke in the bathroom. As I have mentioned in previous videos already, there's so much technology that I have discovered in Australia that Germany, meanwhile, appears to me like a medieval country. Which medieval is a good transition country. to my next point, number four, digitalization. In Germany, you have to work yourself through a huge stack of paperwork for pretty much anything. In Australia, you can transfer your car insurance by just updating your car details in an app and you're good to go. 
In Germany, they would send you a new contract via mail that you would have to fill out and sign and send them back. Because in Germany, a contract is only valid when it's physically signed. It is getting okay. better slowly, but we are still far away from being as digital as Australia. Another thing is that in Germany, cash is king. And I know this is a bit controversial. Of course, I see the benefits of cash, but also the benefits of card. And Germany is a bit too cashy, in my opinion. When you too take cashy. the bus, you either pay the driver with cash or you show him the ticket for the month that you have previously purchased somewhere. When you go to a restaurant in Germany, it's very unlikely that they accept card. It didn't happen just once to me that I forgot to bring cash to a restaurant, so I had to leave a deposit like my ID, go off, find an ATM and bring the money. So if you go to a restaurant in Germany, make sure that they accept card before ordering something. The other extreme is that in Australia, a lot of restaurants do not accept cash, but at least they warn you with a sign at the entrance about it. In Germany, they don't. I think they should just leave the choice to us whether we want to pay with cash or card. Mm -hmm. That's the That's an option. You have to give us an option. Cash or card. Yeah. Well, that's it. Um, yeah, this is the experience that shared by the traveler that who already been and live in Australia for a year and go back to his country Germany and come and he actually find a comparison and make a comparison between these two country in Australia and also the Germany and um, yeah he noticed a lot of different and the strength of Australia uh, like what he shared together with us right now uh, how the people of Australian talk uh, compared to how all uh, Germany people talk then in Australia we they are using the first name the first name not, not the family name and uh, compared to Germany they are all using the the family name like Mr. Smith and so on but not like Australia more friendly and more uh, they have like so they feel like bonding to each other and that is just the great things for me and uh, about the school uniform translator and digitalization and i think a uh, lots of country right now are uh, try to move to digitalize everything and there is of course the pro and cons and uh, yeah and uh, the government should leave to us um but and an option to us whether you we want to uh, you know or fulfill i mean fully follow the digitalization or digitalize, digitalize everything or just like yeah depend on this yeah it's not uh, something that the government have to force to follow and so on and i what what he just shared uh just now is a very great thing about australia and what do you think about it Ozzy? it's really cool to be australian <laughs> all right i think that's it for now i hope you enjoy this video like i do and i hope to see all of you again on my next video until then everyone take care and have a great day ahead goodbye you went away. You've been